I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. Holy Spirit, I felt it in the Holy Spirit to do this video. I'm here at Walgreens. So they look like normal shelves, but they're not sh normal shelves. Every single one of them has infrared. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Red scanning sensors right here for your forehead, right? The mark of the beast on your right hand or your forehead. Speak to it. It sees you. Seek to wave. They're made out of super thick metal. Later on, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you scan your hand on this. Then it's going to open for you. Then it's going to let you get whatever you need. But without the mark of the beast, you won't be able to use these in the future. These lock. Right now, they're not locked. But they do lock. And they're made out of super thick metal with glass you can't even break through them to get food so again recap revelation 13 he causes all and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred threescore and six. What is the intention of Omnicron to bring about or do if successful upon the masses? Its intent is to forward the development of whether the global agenda is successful or not, which is to digitize humanity. Trap humanity inside a digital prism, which is to make human freedom dependent on whether you have a digital jab passport, uh, or the internet of bodies, or that which is trapped inside this agenda, etc, etc. And that is what Omnicron's purpose is, to continue the plan and process of ever stepping closer and closer to that point of digital singularity whereby mankind becomes, or at least believes in this dependency on a form of digital authentication to continue on living or to be accepted in living in society or be given the right to live life itself sacrificing your life to the digital entrapment of humanity. This is what the occult meaning, for example, of abracadabra means, which in translation is, you create what you speak. So watch this clip, it will probably freak you out a little bit, but if you can see where I'm coming from, you'll understand what I mean. So here you are, the stranger in Omicron, conqueror of demons. Dagobah told me much about your exploits. You're not the first video game player to get your soul trapped in this dimension, but you're certainly the first to stay alive so long. They're now in Astaroth's reservoir of souls. Better to die a thousand deaths than end up there. Astaroth was locked up in a cage for thousands of years by Kushalang, the hero of the Cobalt Wars. Now that he's free, the demon needs to build up his power again because it dwindled over the centuries. To do so, he needs souls. Thousands of souls.
He derives his power from suffering souls. They endure infinite tortures in the reservoir. It is this endless suffering that will enable him to recover his former power. The souls here are grey and withered. You can't get much power from them. The juicier souls are in your dimension. Astaroth created the video game called Omicron in order to capture them, the game you're playing at this very moment. He uses Omicron to attract souls. He asks players to put their spirit into a body in order to enter our dimension. As soon as the soul has come here, it only takes a demon to catch it and take it to Astaroth who condemns it for all eternity, which very nearly happened to you. No, unfortunately. As long as your soul is a prisoner in Omicron, you run the risk of being caught by a demon and thrown into the reservoir. The only way to save your soul is to kill Astaroth. But nobody knows where he hides not to mention how to go about killing him. Let me think. There might be a way to find out more about Astaroth. The survival of your soul is at stake. So if you feel like you're trapped by this Omnicron real life game, stay tuned. Robin Bullock for the next 22 minutes is going to tear this off of you and empower you with the word from the Lord. Seriously, stick around.
grace of God. Come on, come on, everybody say it with us. Come on, say it with us now. Come on now. A highway of holiness separated for the use of God.
that's how to begin to separate your people all over the world. Separate them into holiness. Separate them, Lord, into the use of God. Lord God, that nations will tremble at the power that's revealed in your people. This world has never seen the power revealed in your people, Lord. Like the day of Pentecost. 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 Reveal your power, Lord, in your people. And I give you praise and honor. Come on, wherever you are today, all over the world, say, stand and say, Lord, reveal your power in me. Come on, say it. In me. Shout it. In me. In me. Come on. In me.
absolutely hell has no defenses for. I'm trying to raise a sound from this platform today that absolutely hell did not know how to defend it, does not know what to do for it, and they cannot, they cannot plan for this because we're just riding it as we go right now. And all I keep hearing is, is that separate me for the, for the use of God. That's the true meaning of holiness. So begin to separate me, Lord, for your use. Go ahead and call for that. Go ahead and call for that. I'm going to tell you, sin in your lives is not worth being used by God. You, you need to throw that aside. There's something far greater on this side than on that side. And if you're watching today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord, simply say, Jesus, I believe God raised you from the dead and, and I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and go ahead and become part of this vast family of God and this army of power that he can raise up in these last days. I'm going to tell you something. It don't make any difference what kind of witch is against you, what kind of witchcraft is against you, what kind of voodoo has been unleashed, what kind of, of ungodliness that politicians are operating in. It is no power for the power of holiness and the power of God's love. And you can hear it. Can you hear it? Watch it. You can hear it. You can hear it. It's turning up, turning up, turning up, turning up. Come on. It's turning up, turning up, turning up, turning up. Again, say. Turning up, turning up, turning up, turning up.
time to turn it up. The biggest thing the enemy has is doing right now, the biggest thing that he is 